Hello and welcome and thank you very much for joining me in the studio today where we paint away the stress of everyday life. I think you see that Billy, the representation of my Welsh dragon, looking over my left shoulder there. I thought today we'd do something a bit Van Gogh style, maybe a bit Van Goghy, and why not? It seems to go down really well. So let's have a quick look at the palette and see what colours we're going to be using today and I'll talk about what I'm going to be painting on. So you can see just basic palette uh, again today. I've got some black and some burnt number, which I've um, just taken off from another lesson. I've got a little bit of hooker's green, some cadmium yellow and some crimson. Um, they just happen to be the colours that I was using in another lesson. So I thought today we'd paint on cardboard again. Yes, I quite like this substrate. And as, as you know, I've got um, a painting on my easel at the moment, which I'm working on, which can take a few weeks to, to do before I can get back over there. But I quite like filming at this angle. I think it's really nice. Okay, let's get on to this lesson. So I thought we'd do a bit of a Van Gogh type of painting today, and why not? So I'm getting a bit of my medium mix there, like this. I'm just going to get a little bit of hooker's green, maybe a little bit of white to that. And all I'm going to do is just come down and do some sort of an horizon line there like this, bringing in a little bit of cadmium yellow into that green. I want to yellow this up. These are just blocking in colours. There we are. We're just going to block this in as quick as we can today. Now I've got two quarts of gesso on this bit of cardboard that I'm using. Um, there you go. It's always handy to put a little bit of gesso on your canvas because it helps with the paint, it helps with the flow of paint, it helps with the the, 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 the fact that it won't dry so quick. A little bit more goes green just down in this bottom corner. And this is the type of thing that Van Gogh would have done is just blocked out is colors as you know if you've painted with me in this type of style before and i'm just going to do this in in my style but with a van gogh type of look i think this is going to be quite a easy painting for you to have a go at so just a little bit of color just to darken up the foreground a bit maybe there we are i'm just blocking it out very 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 quickly i thought i'd start with the base today I normally start with the sky, but I thought let's do things a little slightly differently. There we go, and just merge that in together like this. Just get all our canvas covered, or cardboard, or whatever you are painting on. I've got a mind to paint on some Welsh slate soon, because I've actually acquired some Welsh slate, so I'm going to wash my brush. And that's going to be interesting. That is going to be an interesting thing. I tell you what I didn't do. I didn't put any blue on my palette. So uh, I'll have to add a little bit of ultramarine blue on the palette. Because you can't really have a, um, a sky without a bit of blue in it, can you? Not really. No, you can't. No, you can't. Just add in a bit of blue. A bit of white. Actually, let's, let's add a little bit of red into that. Shall we just, just put a little bit of... Let's just put a bit of warmth into that top sky like that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? A bit of warmth. A bit of warmth into that sky. Right, then. A bit of purpley colour. Nice. Ultramarine blue, white. Again. Just get this in. A bit of ultramarine blue and white. And just throw it in like that. Try not to worry too much about it. Just, just put it in. Put it in. A bit more white. A bit of blue. Get it a bit lighter down here. And now the sun is coming up because I've been in the studio since um, about six o'clock this morning doing lessons because it is quite warm here in Wales currently and. It gets to a point where the studio gets so hot it's just unbearably uncomfortable so i try i'm trying to get a few lessons done today um in the cool of the sun because i can feel the heat coming through the roof and it's not pleasant at all so i think this might be my last one for the day so i'm just gonna bring that down like this 
and just to the horizon it's just going to be a little bit lighter like that so you can see the sun not the sun the sky sorry is just um, pulling in together like that I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow a little bit of red to make an orange type of color I'm gonna bring a bit of orange in maybe maybe we got a little bit of a a warm sunset sunrise who knows just a bit of bit of warmth in the sky bit of warmth in the sky there like that because we've got that nice purple color over there so we need this this definite warmth there bringing in a bit of that white and blue together now and maybe there was a couple of orangey clouds there just catching the the ray of the sun like that we can leave it like that wow that's nice that is nice it really is nice get a bit of green a bit of white a bit of yellow and then just i tell you what we could do i tell you what we could do we haven't done this for a while i've got some have i got some paper i've got a bit of wax paper here let me just just take a bit of wax paper off like that there you go I'm just going to put that on there, like that, and just going to tap in a few things like this. Look at that. Where's the Van Gogh style? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Is this going to be Van Gogh style? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, who knows? <laughs> wow, that looks good. That looks good. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm going to get myself a little, I'm going to get myself a little filbert brush. I got a little, no, it's a little tiny short flat. There we go. We've got one of these little short flats. It's a size eight. Um, I got a mind to um, get a little bit of black and burn them together. And a bit of green to that. I'm gonna mind to put a tree in here, I think. I'm gonna mind to put a tree in. Like this. Could be any type of tree really, couldn't it? Doesn't really matter. You make it up. Could be a old sycamore tree or something. There we are. We could put another. Maybe. Tree of sorts there. Right there. There we go. Maybe. Maybe. Little tree shape shapes like that. There we go. Let's give him a trunk. Because you have something to stand on, haven't you? You could have something to Hold him up, the old, cronky old. Tree shape, like that, there you go. Nice cronky old tree, bit of light, the shadow coming that way. Wow, <laughs> already, all ready, like that. In fact, that's looking quite nice. I don't think I'm going to do much with the sky. I like the sky. I was going to do the old scrolls in the sky with, with that. But I mean, I got to be honest with you. I'm, 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 I'm quite happy with the way that looks. 
I really am. So um, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to get some yellow. And I think I'm just going to put some yellow and white together. Let's get some yellow and let's just sparkle this right up, I think. Let's get some. Let's get some light into this. some grass in there well this was going to be a Van Gogh type of painting but I don't know I think we'll just make it up as we go along sometimes the fun of painting is just allowing things to happen and when we allow things to happen we can come up with some wonderful results be loose be loose yes yes let's bang some red into that Let's get some, let's get some orange. Let's make some orange. Let's make some orange, I think. Let's just get some colours. Could be a wheat field or could be anything like that, couldn't it really? Let's just, let's just get some colours into this. In fact, I don't like that brush. I'm just going to get a, a little angle brush, I think. I'm just going to. marks like this could be some pinky color there let's get some yellow red with some white. I'm going to sparkle this up a bit more. Don't know. Let's get some green. Get some dark colour down here. Pop in some colours, get some brown, get some brown and black, So let's leave that one side for a minute. Let's get our little brush. So let's go into some green. Put some highlights on this one side of the tree. Just like that. Maybe. Just a few little dots there. Like this. Maybe there's a bit of light shining through there. Like that. I'll play around with this bit more now in a minute. Let's get some... Um, Let's get some more yellow. 
I'm just putting these flick marks in, just like this. This is the type of thing that Van Gogh would do. He wouldn't worry too much about detail. He'd just put in what he, what he sees and things. And I think it's a wonderful way to just go out and do a bit of plein air painting and stuff. And just flick in a few. Maybe there's a bit of wind blowing, and this is long grass, and meadow grass, type of stuff. Just giving that a little bit of depth there. Who knows? I don't know. You tell me. Let's get some light green. on there like that. <laughs> well I'm really enjoying myself today. I really am. I think I'm gonna get a bit of burned umber and a bit of white mixed together. Maybe just a little bit of contrast here and there like that. There we are. I think I think now we need a script lining brush. And that's a long thin brush so we need just to get some yellow very thinly made because you can do that with the um, medium mix maybe you need a bit of white to that because it's a little bit opaque and there's Molly in a garden and just put a few flicky bits here and there like as if there's long bits of grass and things just coming into play a bit of wind blowing and this is just a play around with paint um, you can play around put a couple of red flowers and things in like this bits of red just to sparkle it up maybe um, you could use let's get a bit more white because my palette is quite dirty now so gotta be careful I don't make mud we just just do a little few flowery marks I like got maybe just a couple of white dots here and there as well just to represent maybe some flowers and this long grass we could get a bit of black and we could put a, a couple of birdies just flying in the sky maybe a couple of taking off of the grass And a very, very quick, easy lesson. Just play. And, I, and that's all we want you to do, really. That's all I want you to do, really, is just experiment. Because these type of paintings will just take you on to a greater enjoyment of art. And it just goes to show that you don't need a lot of detail and a lot of work. You don't need a lot of... Um, expertise into to, to doing something like this all you need is a little bit of imagination and before you know it you've got a painting and that's what it's all about and trust me I've seen paintings like this sell really well I really have There you go. There we are. Very, very, very quick lesson. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. And um, I look forward to seeing you on another lesson. Bye-bye.